Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're going to be applying KG Boot Guard to my work boots. I don't know about you, but my work boots toes get beat up the most out of anything on the work boot. These boots are only about nine months old and there's already some pretty nice gouges and things like that. I just want to get some more protection on the tips of my boots. I've used this KG boot guard before on another pair of boots. It is pretty cool. It just creates another like layer of protection on the front of your boots. Obviously if your boots are exposed metal or the plastic toe underneath this would be a great option for you to um, protect that front but if your boot is totally worn through and your toes are hanging out then you know just buy a new pair of boots this is pretty cheap I think it's like 10 bucks on Amazon I'll post a link to this in the description it's pretty easy to install so let's dig into it inside the package is the material that you spread on it comes with a little applicator pen and then a little piece of sandpaper. On the side of the box are the directions and I'll read them off. Clean and sand surface area where the boot guard is to be applied. Stir boot guard with applicator for one minute. Shaking will not do. Apply boot guard to applicator boot. Allow first coat to dry for three to four hours. Then apply a second coat. Let the boot set overnight before wearing. Make sure cap and top of can are thoroughly clean and put cap back on. Dispose of applicator. Once you open this, you do want to use it pretty quick because once the air gets to it, it's going to go bad pretty quick, they say, within seven days. So you might be able to do a couple sets of boots, but you want to have them all done at the same exact time. So first thing you're going to do is actually just clean the area on the fronts of your boots where you were going to apply this. The place you want to apply it is pretty much just on the top material. I wouldn't go down onto the bottom at all. Um, and before the crease on the back part where your, where your foot creases, because if you're putting it on where the crease is, that stuff's going to crack and peel and chip off. So you want to keep it on the front part of the boot up to the top of the sole here before the crease. I've got a pre-damped paper towel here that I'm just going to use to wipe off the area and get any loose dirt or mud or anything left over from a job site. And give it a good wipe down. You want to get all the loose material off because that's what's going to make it harder for that stuff to bind. You may need to use a couple paper towels but I'm just using water. You, you don't really need to use soap unless yours are like caked in mud. Then you may need to use a little bit of soap to, to get them cleaner. And I'm not going crazy, but just getting it clean and free of loose dirt particles. Now, once you have that done and your toes are clean on, the, on your boots, the sandpaper that comes with the package can be used to, to buff it off, to kind of roughen up the leather for it to grip better. It'll also knock off some of the bigger loose particles of your boot, like on my boot, there's some flaps here are kind of like on the edge, may hinder the application. So using the sandpaper on those can knock those off, but you just want to kind of scuff up the whole area where you're going to apply this stuff. So spend some time going through, scuff it up nice and good. I'd say that's about good. I'm also going to take my damp paper towel and then just kind of wipe down that area again to get any loose particles off that you just sanded from that area just to clean it off. So that's one boot. And once you've scuffed those up, Nice and good. Give it another wipe down and let the toes dry so that you're ready to apply. And now I'm actually just going to take a piece of painter's tape to just mark off where I'm going to be applying. Just as a reference, it doesn't really do much. The, the stuff will leak underneath it a little bit, but at least I have a reference line for when I am actually doing application. I'm also going to do it across the front here just to keep any of the application off of the sole of the boot, but I'm not going to like go crazy trying to get it perfectly tight. If a little bit gets on the top of the sole, that's fine with me. So like that, and I'm going to do both boots. And obviously you want to protect whatever surface you're working on because this stuff will stick to pretty much anything and 
you don't want to get that on your countertops or whatever you're working on. So I may actually put a piece of cardboard down. So now I'm going to do the application and I'm going to open up the bottle here. And it is sealed so you will need a, a knife or something to get it opened. It was under pressure apparently. And it does have a very strong smell so keep that in mind. And this is supposedly the brown color, but it looks pretty black to me. Definitely make sure you're in a ventilated area. This stuff smells really strong. Now, I did shake it up really well, but they definitely say you need to stir it with the applicator for a good minute because there are like, you know, chunks in it that you need to get up off the bottom. So I'm going to give it a good spin with the applicator for, you know, 60 seconds or so. All right, that's been about a minute. So now that the applicator is nice and lubed up, I'm gonna go ahead and start applying to the top of the boot. And your first coat's gonna be kinda of light because you wanna just get the base down. So just spread it nice and evenly and get good coverage in all the little nooks and crannies of your boot. put the top back on for now and I'm gonna let this sit for a couple hours and then I'll come back and do another coat okay so this is like um, actually like five hours later I thought it was still tacky but it's actually just shiny so I just let it sit for a while but I'm gonna go ahead and do the second coat now so I'm gonna open up this container so I'm gonna give this another stir for a couple of seconds I think that's good enough then I'm gonna go ahead and do the second coat and I'm going to do this one a little bit thicker than I did the first coat. And then I'm going to let it sit for another couple hours. And then I'm going to actually put a third coat on. And then I'm going to let it sit overnight. All right, guys. So this is a couple days later after I've let this fully cure. Um, they say 24 hours and you're good to go. I always like to give it like two or three days just to get really, really cured. Sometimes over 24 hours it gets a little tacky. And um, I didn't want to go out on a job site and have it get ruined. This is the final product that you're left with. It is a little bit glossy after you do finish the final coat. But that will fade. And actually I have another pair of boots that I did this on a few years ago and has held up really, really well. Um, so this is probably about um, two years old and as you can see it does, the glossiness does fade. This has seen like countless job sites but no real punctures in the, uh, in the material. So it does its job. I definitely highly recommend this KG boot guard. It's really relatively cheap and it's easy to do to you know, liven up an old pair of boots if they're getting a little uh, worn out in the toes. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Love it if you subscribed and uh, stay tuned for more videos. Later.